How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another streaming discussion. Today I want to talk about the Streamlabs OBS and what they're wanting to start implementing. They've already started changing the UI and that is something that can be good, can be bad, but I want to kind of talk about the first post. Now this one is something I didn't seem to really think had a lot of value to it because it doesn't really impact a lot of us unless you're extremely brand new to Streamlabs OBS or you're wanting to make the transition over to Streamlabs OBS. So basically they're onboarding. So when you download and install it, long story short, you basically can take your stuff from OBS or maybe OBS Studio and then import it over to Streamlabs OBS. This will carry your scenes, your collections, your outputs, your configurations and whatever else they want to bring over. And then if you want to do it completely from the beginning where you have to configure everything yourself, then you can do that with Streamlabs OBS and you just configure everything. So import takes less time, start from scratch takes more time. But that is where a lot of these videos that I already make about Streamlabs OBS come into play. So if you guys don't use OBS and you're starting to use Streamlabs OBS for the very first time, I have a ton of videos that already go over all of this stuff that you guys need to know. Now I'm adding more as I go, but one of the things I do want to point out is unless there's a significant, significantly big change to something that I've already gone over, I am not redoing any of the videos I've already did. Most of the core stuff to Streamlabs OBS has already stayed. Like I have the updated version of Streamlabs OBS for what they have right now. And the, the core stuff there is still there. It's just certain UI things have changed. But like if you're wanting to add in like a window capture, that hasn't changed. If you're wanting to add in an alert box, how to do that hasn't changed. If you want to get into your settings, the button to where that is has changed, but the stuff in the settings has not changed. So what I'm saying is I've already covered a majority of the stuff to redo everything because the UI changed would be pointless. But the videos that I have already covered, if the core functionality is still there, then the video is going to be very beneficial for you. So definitely take a look at the Streamlabs playlist that I will link in the card above and the video description below. That way you guys can get familiar with how to use Streamlabs OBS and I'm adding more to that playlist. But if anything significantly changes, I will make a video on the change just so you guys know. And then I'll let the people know in the other video if it's something that has changed in terms of functionality. I'll let them know over on that old video that, hey, I updated this. Go check this video. Just got to get that out there. Because <laughs> I know once UI stuff starts changing, people start to freak out. So don't freak out. I got you. I got you. But yeah, this is this is very, very basic stuff. You, you either download it and import, or you download it and you start from scratch. This one part two, which was early August. This one is where they started implementing the change. So they were talking here about how with the combining the editor and live, because a lot of people are, when they start going live, it kicks you to the live, but then they go right back to the editor tab. And I'm one of those people. I hate being in the live tab. I, I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it, but my personal thing is being on the editor tab gives me the ability of treating it like Streamlabs, well not Streamlabs, um, OBS Studio, where everything is still there for me to mess with. I get the preview window and everything like that. So I prefer that type of way because I've used OBS Studio for so many, so many years. And I just, I just prefer having all that stuff for me to be able to click, hide, move around and everything like that. It's just so much easier for me. So that's why I like being on the editor tab. So what they decided to do, and I'll make this bigger for you guys. Give me a second. Give me one second. There we go. So what they decided to do was bring them together. So now this is kind of showing you the UI change, right? So you got your recent events up here. You got your chat down here. You can see how many people are watching and everything like that. But you also have it where you got all your scenes, you got your sources, where you can mess with them, you can hide them, lock them, move them around like layers and everything like that. And then you have your mixer and everything. So you have all your audio stuff right there. And you got, of course, your preview. Now, here's where they were talking about some of the UI change. You know, obviously because of this, this is a change, but 
this I have not had implemented yet. So it has not been implemented into my version. If you guys have it in your version, let me know what version you guys are running inside the comment section below. That way other people know when this actually gets thrown in. But I have not been able to get mine to look like this picture here. But I know they are going to be adding some changes in, I guess, the upcoming weeks, months. I'm not sure exactly their, their uh, timeline of when they want all this stuff out. Currently, this video is being made on August 30th. So we'll see you know, when exactly all this stuff gets thrown out there. But I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. So let me go ahead and bring this guy back down to normal size. And this basically just gives you an idea of how everything's going to look. So you got your preview, you got your recent events, you got your chat, mixer, source, scenes. Very self-explanatory. So then they talk about the navigation bar. Now normally in my videos I talk about the navigation bar on the very, very top, which is how it was when I started making the videos, which is why I talked about it that way. Now what they're going to be doing is they are removing the dashboard. So the dashboard is completely removed from the app, which a lot of people are not very happy about because now you have to go to Streamlabs website to make any type of changes, which sucks. I'm also not a fan that the dashboard is gone, but they had to, they had to cut it somewhere. So they wanted to make it a better experience. So they do say down here that we've also decided to remove the dashboard from the Streamlabs OBS. The dashboard seen in the client is embedded content from the Streamlabs website and isn't a great experience for users. Moreover, the dashboard is meant to stream uh, is for stream data analysis and did not align with our vision of creating an all-in-one live streaming solution with Streamlabs OBS, but you can still access it at the website. So that is pretty much what they got going on right now. And then of course you can go and download it. But they are they said that let's see. It says there is plenty of smaller and more minute changes that we are not covered in this post, but for the sake of your time, we're spotlighting the biggest ones that we know you'll care about. So they are, like I said, they are gonna be adding some more to it, and this just kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at. So like I said, most of the stuff is still here. You want to add sources, bam, they're still here. Nothing's changed. You want to go and add a scene, same thing here. You want to get into your your actual audio stuff, same. The only things that are really changed now is if you want to see like your CPU usage and stuff like that, you know, it's right over here and you got to have to hover over it. You can click on it and it pops out, but you can't pin it. You can't move it around or anything on here. It won't pin anything but you can pop it out and you can move it somewhere else on your screen or you can just kind of hover over it. This is also another thing that a lot of people are not very thrilled about. They want to have it to where they can either toggle it on or off, but you can't toggle it on or off according to some of the posts I've seen on their Twitter. Now, if you're wanting to get into your actual settings, you click on the little gear down here and bam, now you're in your settings. Everything else is still the same. If you're wanting to log out, now the log out is over here. If you're wanting to do studio mode, studio mode is right here. If you're wanting to see your studio mode, if you want to go to your live mode, this is going to be your live mode. And then if you're going to want to go to your themes, this is where you'll be able to go to themes. And then you have like your widget themes and stuff like that. If you use CloudBot, it's right there. And if you want to go to the store, the store is right there. And then anything else that you buy, like apps and stuff like that, should be somewhere in this area for the tray. This is what they were talking about. They, they felt like this was a much easier place for them to utilize the empty space. So there's really not drastic changes, but it's small little changes here and there. And as they start rolling out some of the other stuff, I'll keep you guys updated. But I want to let... You know, you guys vent yourself out about this. If you use Streamlabs OBS, how do you like this little slight UI change? Are you mad that the that the that the dashboard is gone? You know, like I just I want us to be able to kind of talk about this. Like, what do you think about it? What would you like them to add into Streamlabs OBS to make it better? Or is there something that they removed that you would like them to bring back? Do you like the UI change? Do you think they could have kept it a different way? Let's talk about it inside the comment section below. And guys, remember, if you are new to the channel, if you're new to streaming, you want to learn the stream, you're wanting to learn how to use Streamlabs OBS, how to grow a channel with streaming, 
then be sure to go ahead and take a look at the content on my channel. I cover a lot of things and I try to keep you guys up to date as much as possible and educate you guys when it comes to streaming. So if you're liking the content, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to hang out with me in Discord, links in the video description below. You can also talk to me on Twitter and when I'm live over on Mixer. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you guys in a future stream or a future video and I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.